Please note that this video contains spoilers. Lost season finale thoughts slash rant. Okay, so basically, let's just start with, wasn't Walt completely pointless? At, at, at what point did he really do anything that had... Yeah, okay, I get it. Growth spurt. They, you know, couldn't quite convince us that that actor had only aged months when clearly he had aged years. Did you not see that coming? Did, did you expect to wrap up all of Walt's stuff before the... I mean, he didn't even appear here in the finale. Michael appeared here near the end, but he apparently didn't get the big happy ending, purgatory, not quite heaven. What is the church thing anyway? And if that was supposed to be a sort of heaven kind of thing, then why was there still so much pain and... Why did certain people make it there and other people didn't? What did Anna Lucia did to not get in there that, you know, Benry didn't do? T t yeah. Why did Libby deserve to get... Was it because, you know, the whole Hurley romance thing? Should Anna Lucia have shacked up with someone just to make sure she got a spot there in the... Okay, I get the whole Christian Shepherd, and I like that Kate actually says, are you kidding? But they didn't really follow him. I mean, okay, maybe they're at the very beginning of the show, you know, when Jack saw him and he follows him, and but that's kind of it. There's not that many sightings of Christian, and it's not like before that they were really following him, or Jack was really following him all that much, I guess trying to live up to him, but you know, g gain his acceptance, but anyway. And the whole, you know, Shannon and Boone, well, at least they're, you know, here in the finale, but they haven't been there since, like, season two or three, some somewhere along there. I mean, just, again, you know, what exactly did... And, and I get it, you know, the whole, you know, everybody dies sometime. Yes, but you don't need the idea of heaven to accept death. You really don't. It, I, I speak from experience, okay? It, you don't. It just, we die and then someone else comes. I mean, it's not like the human race will die with you. There will be conscience after you. There will be life after you, at least if we don't, you know, screw everything up completely. But that's an entirely different topic. And what, where did that even come from in the ending? Was it just, I would say it's basically just them trying to make everyone happy. To just say, ah, oh, see, your favorite character is still there. Because no one loves Anna Lucia, let's be honest. And just, you know, they're all there and they're happy and they're holding the person that they love. Wait, wait where was Helen? I'm not sure. Was she with Locke in the... Might have been. Anyway, you know, it just, <laughs> yeah, they're just trying to, and, and that's such a cheap way, you know, it's, if you had at least given us something concrete, something, you know, say that, well, this character is definitely dead. I mean, okay, they're all dead. You know, what about the ones who got on the plane at the... Were they not in the church? I don't know. Whatever. You don't... And what was the point of, you know, the whole... Basically, they spend so much time getting Desmond down there so he can, you know, unplug it, and then they get... Was that not the most boring mechanism of any sort that you've ever seen in a J.J. Abrams creation. I'm not going to give any alias spoilers here other than the fact that anything you see in that is way cooler. Anything we've seen earlier in Lost was way cooler. The, the wheel thing and just the, the center of the electromagnetic activity, you know, with the, the key thing down there and that, that whole thing, way cooler, way more interesting. This is just 
a plug, you know, I half expected Jack to have not plugged up the leak or whatever properly, you know, maybe he should go over there and grab that thing and just push it down, maybe turn a little bit, you know, that, that might work. So yeah, you know, they unplug it, then they plug it back in. Why did Jack not, like, die from the... Wasn't there, like, electromagnetic activity? There seemed to be when Desmond went down there, then Jack can go down there. Is it because he drank from the well? Does that mean that Jacob could have gone down there? Why exactly could... Why did unnamed brother of Jacob, Jacob's brother... He never did seem to get a name, did he? Was it just not important enough? It's just annoying to not have something to call him by. Why could, why did he seem to turn into the smoke monster thing really soon after, just, you know, he just barely went into the well, but then suddenly they can go all the way in there and lower a rope, and, you know, Desmond can go all the way down there. If Desmond can, why, then, and he's special, why can Jack, was it because he drank from the well? Again, does that mean Jacob can do it? I don't think Desmond drank from the well. Also, tiny nitpick, but would you drink that really muddy-looking water that Jack off? I mean, I know it's not muddy when it goes into the oceanic water bottle thing, but before that, it looked really muddy, and I really don't believe that the water in the you know, bottle at all came from that muddy source. Anyway, if it was all about them leaving the island, I mean. Let's be honest, nothing was accomplished. C could, you, could you point to something that was accomplished other than, you know, okay, so someone took over for Jacob. Doesn't that mean that if Jacob hadn't been killed, when was he killed, by the way? There was something about that, okay, Benry killed him when they always stabbed him and stood over his bloody corpse or something. I, I guess because of the jealousy or something. But doesn't that mean that if he hadn't done that, then none of the events of, you know, this show, pretty much, or at least none of the oceanic survivors would have had to go on the island and do anything. And again, you know, all this comes down to is two brothers, one of them want to leave this island. Why is it that he can't anyway? Why can't he just get on a boat now that he has a human form again and just go away? Why is it so important for him to do something about it? Why does he want to destroy the island? Why is he so dead set on that? Has there not been any boat with a corpse on it for all those years? I mean, we don't know how long it has been, I guess, or maybe I wasn't paying close enough attention anymore. I gave up on that. But couldn't he have just left a while ago? I'm also not entirely clear on what it was he was doing when he was taking on the form of Christian Shepherd that was supposed to lead towards Desmond getting down into the... Oh, well, okay, fair enough, he didn't know that yet because Whitmore figured that out for him. But what was he doing as Christian Shepherd that was supposed to lead to him getting back off the island? And yeah, so we have the... So, yeah, was the you know, the source down there, was it supposed to extinguish all life anywhere if, you know, they, I mean, they pulled that cork out of there, it didn't seem to really do anything, it started to destroy the island, and I guess it would have completely destroyed the island, but is that it, or is it when the island goes away that it, you know, would, I mean, don't get me wrong, the whole water and life thing, and, and light and life, that worked for me, that was fine enough. But, yeah, you know, and, and why would you even have something like that? Let's say there is a creator of the universe, you know, creator of this island, why would he be stupid enough to leave this big, I don't know, reset button? Just right there for someone to, okay, so they needed to either be immune to electric magnetic, magnetic impulses, or they needed to drink from the spring and then just go down there and, you know, mess around with it. But it did seem to be pretty easy to do.
So, yeah, I suppose that's about... I'm also not entirely sure about Desmond in the Sideways universe. When exactly did he realize that... Yeah, I get where he got the names from by, you know, the, the flight manifest, and that, I guess, has some details, or he uses pull. He does, he is Charles Woodmore's right-hand man, he probably has a lot of influence, a lot of power, so he gets the info on them, all that. When exactly was it that he realized, I guess from the not Penny's boat, and that just reminded him of everything, then why didn't he, why did he need the flight manifest if he knew them all and remembered... What about the ones, did, did Desmond come into contact with absolutely everyone at some point? Okay, maybe he did, fine, strike that one, but yeah, it just, the whole sideways universe thing seemed pretty pointless to me. I mean, they spent the entire season just setting up that you know, everybody dies sometime. Okay, yeah, we knew that. What's your point? Were they just really dead set on just one more variant of the flashes to something. You know, first we have flashbacks, then we have flash forwards, now we have flashes to a sideways, an alternate universe, that's what I thought it was at least. Now it's purgatory, not heaven, something. And, and the, at the end of the day, it's just some people leaving the island, and that's it. That happened before. People have left the island before. There was nothing... What, what hadn't been accomplished by then? What needed to happen other than they felt... I don't know, maybe attempt to resolve something that they had set up. Or... Yeah. I think that's it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.